Hello guys, this is Eddie Wang and I'm here again with Mortal Kombat 9 to address something that I really expect to go away in Mortal Kombat X. It's something that really hurted a lot of scattered players because they had the projectile with the smallest hitbox in the game. Uh, as you know, one of the parts that makes Scarlet so unique and help her game a lot is the ability to throw daggers instantly into the opponent's head. Well, I bought my stick, a holy stick, which is a really good quality stick, to make it easy on this process, but it only became a lot harder. It not because I'm not using the stick, because if you see from the time being, I should be able to use all the stick's functionalities by now. But the only problem that is in Mortal Kombat that really handicapped a lot of scattered players was the fact that if you tap up just one frame to jump, the character won't jump. As you can see, the impact recognition, the character is not jumping. I can press another button, fine, the character reacts, but if I press up, as you can see, the character won't jump. If you perform one frame jumps, the character just won't jump. I'm pressing it. I'm gonna ask BM to, to lower the camera to the stick, so you guys can see. I'm pressing up lots of time, but the character is not jumping, not making a noise. I have to hold it, hold it to jump, hold it for ab about two frames just to recognize the jump but if i keep pressing up like this the character won't jump well this is something that i really hated once i find out because i was really hoping to play mortal kombat with the stick and given the standard difficult to input to perform such moves uh, it really became partially impossible because part of the rocky game in, in a zoning game, it's really dependent on those daggers, and it's really hard and difficult to nail it down with a stick because you have to hold that for at least two frames before you input down forward to perform an eye dragon, which is particularly annoying. If I switch, if I switch this to a controller, it's much easier because the controller. You can slide the rest of the input pretty much easier than with a stick. But the problem still stands. But in controller is it works fine. But on stick, not really. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. Not at all. Here, I'm tapping up with a controller. The character is not jumping. Just boom jump. One frame jumps. It doesn't work. Well, I really hope that this is gone on Mortal Kombat X. I know in just a hard option to turn it off, but really just turn it off? Why don't remove it completely? What is the point of having release checks? Release checks are only messing up with input timings, in my own opinion. Why would the hell would I want to do this with release check? There is no point. There is really no point at all on doing this with release check because it will always mess up with input. Always. So, for Mortal Kombat X, I said not to release check. And I really hope Nadia Realm Studios do test everything. Not only with PS4 controllers, but on PS3, if they are able to test with sticks, I would be really happy because I really wanted to play Mortal Kombat with a stick, but with Scarlet it's virtually impossible. Only because of this. It's virtually impossible. Because it's really hard to get those daggers. And the the space between the space where she executes the eye dagger it really counts on a rocky games or zoning game it's Im almost impossible to fight Cyrax with a stick especially Cabo Cyrax so I have to continue to play Mortal Kombat with a controller which in, in fact I didn't want it but I don't have much anything to do so 
I really hope that in Mortal Kombat X, these things are gone. Well, that's all I wanted to say. Thank you all for your time.